want you to imagine a little boy walking home from school. He lives in the heart of Mexico City. He takes the bus like most, and uh, he's done it hundreds of times. He's used to it. But this time, something's different. He feels a sharp pain in his back. And before he knows it, there's a knife inches away from him. He's being robbed, and he has to give him all that he has. He knows that this can't stay this way. He knows he has to get away. Years later, he'd be threatened again, this time by Border Patrol, who are trying to stop him from entering the United States. This is the story of my father, my father who gave me the chance, the opportunity to live and study here in the United States. I use the tools that he gave me to give more to my community of every other child who looks too much like that little boy from Mexico. See, they can be the brightest children of our generation, but what good is it if they simply don't have the tools to prove it? So I began to build computers. My dad is a technician, so he has uh, computers all the time, parts and everything, and I use them to, uh, to build and to bring them to kids who needed them. When these kids received them, they were ecstatic. I remember walking up to my local parish, the South Hayward Parish, and I would set up a little computer on a table, plug it in and everything, and then I would have to go out uh, to the lines of people waiting to get their food. And uh, I know that this was gonna be a difficult decision because there's gonna be kids out there who aren't gonna get that computer today. I only had so many. But I saw a little girl, she was about 12 years old, and she was asking her mother what they were gonna eat today. And so I walked up to them. I noticed they were speaking Spanish, so I asked, uh, tienes una computadora en la casa? Which just means, uh, do you have a home? Uh, do you have a computer at home? And she, she said no. So I brought both of them in, I showed them my computer, and the girl was mesmerized by it. She began clicking around the keyboard and mouse and everything, and she, naturally she began to ask questions. So this is where my dad and I could get lost in our work. We'd answer these questions for hours, and hours went by, and it was time for her to bring the computer home. So we loaded it up, and we brought it to their car, and to wave the final goodbye to the family. It really makes my day when I hear back from them because I know that I was able to make a tangible difference in their lives. And when I bring them the, their computer, they, they're able to actually make a difference in someone else's life too. They, if they wanna study uh, something that related to computers, they can do that now. They have the opportunity to do that. And the problem is that most of, uh, most of these kids don't even have a chance to use a computer at home, at school. They have to go to the library. They have to use computers for a certain amount of time and then they can't even finish their homework. Or they use old phones that are slow and they can barely get on the internet. And the problem persists even more for those who persevere. Those kids who try uh, try and make it work without computers. Now, when they go to college, when they try to get a job, they don't have the necessary skills in order to keep it. And so, I made, these are some of the, I made a site so that, wait, I made a site so that other people who want to help, who know the, the, the struggle, can provide donations to, in terms of like parts, laptops, things like that, they no longer need. And I can ensure that they, uh, kids who need them, students who actually use them for school and work, are able to get them and they're able to use them. Now, the site, while the site is live, you can go on it right now, the actual donation feature isn't currently working. We have to iron things out, but uh, you can access the, if you scroll down, you're looking at a newsletter, and you can put in your email and kind of uh, sign yourself up, and you'll be notified when that feature is ready. Uh, these are some of the families I've helped. Um, they're just 
little kids who want to get into computers, but they, if they can barely afford food, there's no chance of them buying a computer. So I was able to provide them with that. Now, the problem stems from the lack of access. When there's a lack of access, there's, there means there's a lack of opportunity. And no opportunity means no future. My dad sacrificed everything he had for my future to ensure that no one else had to go through the same thing. Thank you.